Hello everybody, it is Dazran Trio Tree and welcome back to Ness Remix. As promised from the last episode, I said we would do Excite Bike, which will be really exciting. Episode, or sorry, stage number 5 of 10, this isn't episode 5. Uh, this is actually episode number 7 of this series, so if you haven't seen the ones previous, there will be a playlist on my channel, and as well there will be a playlist on the, or all these videos will feature on my Dazran Trio Tree website. Ooh! Okay, so Excite Bike, stage number five. Let's do this. Complete a lap of track one. Well, this couldn't be too hard. This is basically asking you to play the first stage of their game. Oh, wow, temperature's rising. Barometer's getting low. According to all sources. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, we did it! Clear! What kind of score did we get, Johnny? It's a three-star score! That's all we can ask for, that's good. Hey, you've unlocked nest stages from Wrecking Crew, awesome. I didn't know too much about Wrecking Crew until about... Maybe it was 2006 or 7, whenever the Wii came out and Wrecking Crew was launched on the Virtual Console, being the big fanboy that I was, and oh cool, you can download games on your Nintendo Wii. I downloaded like every game almost. And yeah, Wrecking Crew was one of them, and I actually quite enjoyed it. You got a new stamp. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it's something from the Ice Climbers, actually, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like a jelly bean with hair and a face. Wrecking Crew. It's quite interesting, actually. I think the whole game's prowess comes from uh, Donkey Kong, the stages where you have to, like, walk over the bolts. It's, it's kind of something like that, it's from what I remember. Anyway, stage 6 of 10, Excite Bike. Let's go for some more exciting Excite Bike. Knock over a rival with your... What? With your back wheel. How does one do this? <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> what? Knock over five of them? I'm trying to catch them, but I can't. <laughs> That's awesome! You can kill people in this. I like this game even more now. <laughs> Way better than Road Rash. <gasps> what? No, I didn't mean to. Oh, come on. Go, go. Yeah, stay. Stay! Yeah. Did we get a tree star after my fumble? Yes. Good job. See, I didn't realize there'd be more races coming up from behind. I thought they would all just be ahead of you. So my mistake there. But we did actually get the tree star rank, so that's good. Oh, God. Okay. Exciting Excite Bike. Stage number seven out of ten. Let's go for it. Get to the finish line without crashing. Hmm. Are they gonna just cut in front of me now? Look at this. Don't go up now, that's not fair. Oh, that was easy. Although I think I was just about to crash. <laughs> Get to the line without crashing again. Look how fast he went! <gasps> no! How did I crash? That's not good. You don't get off my lane, buddy. That's what I told you, isn't it, punk? Yee! Nice. I actually quite like Excite Bike now that I've learned the kind of the ways of it. This is what this game is supposed to do. I'm really sure that that's what it's supposed to do. Like I played this on the Wii. And I never gave it a chance because I didn't know how to play it. Like, oh, good job. Drive into the back of why don't you? And this is kind of... Uh, I don't know. It's a little bit like holding your hand through the experience, telling you how to have fun with the game. And it's... it's I suppose it's a welcome kind of thing. I'd like to see more of this. I can't wait for in the future if they decide to make... Um, you know what I mean? This is NES Remix. I'd love to see SNES Remix. That'd be so awesome. To play a kind of special variety of, uh, you know, things you wouldn't have seen in Super Mario World or Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island or Contra or anything like that. It'd be so cool. 
or Probotector is what it was actually known as over here in Europe. Contra. The Alien Wars. Okay, Balloon Fight. We haven't done too much of Balloon Fight, even though it's my favorite game of them all on the NES. So let's do stage number four, which we haven't done yet. Looks like it's the kind of like infinite game mode. Pop three balloons. I was trying to get a high score for Meverse, you know, to post it up and whatnot, and uh, I never realized you could hold onto the B button and he just flaps all the time. Oh god. Oh nice. Nice. You see, when you press A, you're basically flapping manually, so you're pressing A, 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 A. Whereas if you just hold B, he does everything for you. And it was like, what? I was playing this game, killing myself, pressing A. And that, like, you know, obviously people were getting really high scores, but, you know, it was easier because you could just hold on to B. I was actually doing quite well using the A button, but once I found out about the B button, it was just so much easier. I never knew. Hopefully that helps one of you guys out there as well that plays Balloon Fight. Is it Balloon Fight or Flight? I didn't actually quite catch that. I think it's Balloon Fight. Yeah, Balloon Fight. So yeah, you can hold on to the B button and he does like an infinite flap, so you should be fine. But uh, yeah, I was using the manual A method. I didn't know. Defeat all the enemies. Okay, they're blowing up their balloons here. Yeah, nice. What's that it? Wow. I'm sure you could get a really fast time if you're just fast enough. I was a bit slow on my execution there. I think I could probably kill them without even letting them take off. Or maybe if you go for the middle guy as opposed to the guy in the far left, they all fly upwards straight into you and they all burst their own balloons. That would be a hell of a lot faster. Stage number six of Balloon Fight. Knock out enemy before it flies off. So, I guess what you... Oh. I got three of them. No, I only got two there. Knock out two before they fly off. Come on. Yeah, nice. I did it. Come on. Game. Keep up, won't you? Damn it. Uh, no. Damn. Nice. Yay! That was quite fast. 9.1 Damn it, not a shiny score. I haven't got a shiny score in Balloon Fight yet. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Oh god, that Super Mario Bros. level looks really cool. Okay, stage 7 of 13 for Balloon Fight. Pop 10 balloons without missing any. the balloon or uh, it's never gonna work is it no actually it might no I wasn't gonna miss it oh game you need to give me a chance I had good things in the store hey hey easy Using the sides of the screen to appear on the other side was quite advantageous. Do we get another stamp? Yay! It's man with a big nose on a balloon. <laughs> I think that's the technical term. Oh, cool! We got another one of those weird-looking stages. Okay, we might as well do stage number eight as we're we're doing quite well with the. Balloon fight actually, it's quite enjoyable and I seem to be getting good scores every time, not getting too many games overs here. Speaking too early as always. Oh, I could have got him as well now. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, it's not. It's never fine. Oh, we could have taken my balloon there. Should have. I will take you out from over here. See you! <laughs> Glorious. 
Damn it. Give me a shiny star one. Although I think I just got a shiny star one in the last one, didn't I? Close enough to getting another stamp as well. Stage number nine. Hmm. Shall we do one more? Shall we change it up though and try out Wrecking Crew? So this is stage number one of Wrecking Crew. One of 11. Let's see what we have to do here. Actually, I said in it's a bit like Donkey Kong, but just looking at that screenshot now it reminds me that you have to destroy everything. Obviously it's Wrecking Crew, like so you have to demolish everything like this door here. The bricks. Uh, I think there's ladders you can break like this. You can climb up that. But you don't necessarily want to break that just yet. Uh, I don't know if you can pick things up. Hmm, was that a good idea? Can you jump? Can I get this? What's... How do I get this? <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Okay. So I was kind of looking at that ladder there. Sometimes those breakable ladders will be your only way up. What's this do? Did it hit me? Oh. Hi-yo! Break the wall before time runs out. Hey, hey! What the hell? A little boy just came out of the bomb. What? That doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, we didn't get a shiny score. You've unlocked a new stage. Remix 2? So what do we see here, there? What's, what do we see here, there, and everywhere? Ice Climbers, Wrecking Crew. We see Link. Uh, on the bottom left corner, it looks like Mario playing golf. He kind of looks like he's looking down, his arms on the golf club. Uh, I don't recognize anything else. Is that a penguin from Ice Climbers in the top right? I don't know who the girl is in the top left. There's some kind of a bird then in the top middle. And I don't know what that red thing is in the far left. Cool. Perfect! So if Remix 2 is open, have we unlocked new games then? No? Oh, it's Link. Link! Wrecking Crew? Yeah. Okay, let's do one more in Wrecking Crew before we end off the episode, shall we? Make the enemy go through the door. Oh, you're from Wrecking Crew, Mr. Vortex from... Do I have to hit it to open it? Oh. Let's start that again. <laughs> I know that's gonna probably take away from my three star score. Okay. Get in there. Haha. -ha. Make the enemies go through the door. I don't know if the door closes over time, so we're just gonna open it here and stand here and watch them. Hello, boys. In the there you go. Just happened. What was with all the noise? Hmm. What's with the bomb? What? What did the bomb do? Did it open the door? Oh god. Ah, cool. Okay, so I did that quite fast. You can only do it as fast as the enemies were walking. I don't understand why I didn't get a shiny. Okay, I'm doing that one more time before the end of this episode, damn it. <laughs> we got a blob with eyes or something. Stage number two. Let's try it again. Okay, so the bomb is like a remote control for the door to open. So, okay. I can't do this stage any faster than I just did. Same with this one, I'm sure. You have to climb up the ladder for them to follow you. You have to open the door just as they come up. Still only as fast as they move. I don't think I did the first bomb one very fast, so we just run over and hit it as fast as we can. There you go. And this is as fast as the enemies are fast, so... Perfect score. Surely. 18.1! Yes, boys! And lady gents. Gentle lady folk. Well done. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so that was Wreck and Crew, stage number two. We got a perfect score. What the hell is that? Eggplant Ganon? <laughs> is that Ganon? Oh my god. So in the next episode, we're going to start it off with something a bit different that we haven't done for a couple of episodes. We're going to do some more remix stages, as we haven't done them in a while. And there's a lot of them unlocked now. 
So the last one we did do was stage number 10, and we have done them all. Yes, we have. So stage number 11, it looks like it's going to be Balloon Fight, and that's the one we're going to start on. So if you did enjoy this episode, remember to leave a like. That really does help out what I do and my YouTube channel and this video. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.